Hello and welcome. I'm Laura, Canva creator and Canva ambassador. Now I want to bring to you today something that Canva have updated very, very recently as of the 23rd of May. It was only launched to a million people and with Canva having a huge amount of people worldwide a million people is just scraping the iceberg but the new dashboard the new look and feel of the dashboard was launched and some new features but today I wanted to talk to you about the dashboard because I have so many people saying it has changed they're unsure where things are they don't know how to find this they're not sure if they like it so I thought, let's go through the dashboard. Let's have a run through. Let's look at what has moved. Now, nothing has disappeared. Everything is still there. It might not just be where you thought it was originally. There may be the odd extra click that you have to do to find the different features in Canva that you're after. But everything is there. And it will be rolled out to everybody across the globe in August. So I think this time between now and August is going to be more of a beta stage where they're going to be ironing out some wrinkles, anything that happens. It's been rolled out to a million people. So we've got a million people testing it as of the 23rd of May. I think within a couple of days, the whole million had, spaces had gone. But we're going to be testing it. We're going to be using it. We're going to be supplying feedback to Canva. So don't think it will stay exactly as, as it is. I do not know this 100%, but I imagine this is what they're going to do. So let's switch over to my screen and let's have a look at the New Look dashboard. So here we are on the New Look dashboard. This is my account. It does look similar but slightly different there are a few tweaks it's a lot cleaner it's a lot clearer i think i do like the new dashboard you've got a bit of a, of a distinct line here between your main design page and this menu bar here which tells you what updates have happened you've also got create a design over on the left where it used to be over on the right but you still have two icons here for custom sizing and for uploading. Now beforehand, you used to have to click the menu, scroll down, and they were at the bottom. They're now on the main page. You also have any folders that you have available in your account are also here. The ones you've starred, you can star folders. They appear right here ready for you to use. So it does look very similar. You've still got this main bar here. Um, and you've still got the search bar, but it's been moved to the top here. So you can still search for your templates in Canva. So it hasn't changed a huge amount. The main changes, I think, are probably within the actual template design. So you've still got all of this here, but we've got more space around it. It just feels cleaner and clearer. And then you still have your recent designs underneath. OK, so all of your recent designs. If you want to see a little bit more deeper into what you've got, click on your projects tab. So you've still got these down here, still got your projects and your templates and your brands all down the left hand menu. And then you've got your recents, your folders, your designs. Everything is still in this one central place. You've got your template section. Now, this one has changed because of the introduction of these four packs. Now, definitely have a look at these businesses these are going to be game changers for you for me i love the creative pack it's fantastic but it also gives you an extra menu here so you've got your work kits it just opens them up for you photos these are all the photos that are available in canva so you can now click on these and use them in designs you've even got icons so little eye catching icons that you might want to add into your designs icons are a huge thing and then we've got creators that you follow. So if you follow me, my templates will appear here as and when new ones are created and uploaded. And then you've got starred content. So if you find a template, an image, a graphic that you love, that you want to use time and time again, you can star it so that you can always find it. So that's pretty much that part there. You've got your brand, your brand kit, 
you've got brand templates and you've got brand controls here. So they're just trying to make this part a little bit more easier and user friendly. So you've still got all of your brand kits for different businesses that you run and own and projects that you have. And then you've got the app section. So this home projects, templates, brand and apps are the main big parts of Canva that we tend to use. So here, this is where you can find all of your amazing apps. Typecraft, I love Typecraft. There's so many different ones in here I love. Don't forget to have a look at my other videos because I do go through some of these awesome apps that you can now use in your business. Okay, so the part I think a lot of people are getting stuck on is when they actually are in a design. Now it kind of opens up, it looks like it's opening up in its own separate little screen here. And we don't have the bar along the top like we used to. If I click it, it then puts it into the main background. So the main design screen. So I don't know if you call that. So if I click on one, it opens it up in its own little screen. So you can see it, you can share it, you can add comments, you can track the data on your template as well. I don't know if you knew you could do that, but you can. Um, and then you can see who else it will put here is if it's if it's a team template, who else is looking at this template? And if you click the template, it then puts it into the design. So it has a lot more space around it as well, which I really like. It's cleaner, it's clearer, it looks better, I feel. Um, I just like to have that space. It doesn't feel as cluttered. You've still got your left hand menu, but when you hover over them, it then opens up an additional menu for you. Hovering great and it will give you all of the different things that you need we've even got draw in here so i can see that being a big hit with lots of people you've got your projects you've got your apps and then it goes on to the other features that you can also have so photos videos backgrounds about create love bit about create uh, translate charts magic media not all of them will open because they don't require additional features. So charts, it does. Translate, it doesn't. So have a look down here. And then you've got all your folders. So everything is still here. Um, but it just gives you more space on here to enlarge your design if you want to. Decrease it. And I like that. So I have this extra space to work. But you can hover over these and open everything. So there's a few things I know people are struggling with. One of them is the change all color. Now the change all color is still here, but when you click on an element, a new bar will appear. It kind of hovers in the background here. Okay, you can see how it's changing when I'm clicking on different parts of the design. Now I can change the colors. I can edit the image. I can change the colors. I can change the border style, the corner rounding. I can crop it, flip it, my transparency, animate, everything is still here. If you want to go the extra step and see what else you can do to this particular element, click the little arrows and it brings up this, if I move me, this new bar on the right, which then gives you more options for your particular element that you have ticked. Um, you've got Magic Studio here, filters, effects, different apps you can use, and then all the basic stuff that you can do with it. Okay, so the color situation. I've clicked on my element. It's black, it's red. They are the two main colors. If I click red, I have this little default um, color palette appear. So ones that are in the document, my branding ones, and then some default ones. If I don't want one of these colors, if I want to click more information, click see all, and I have this little extra color border come up on the side, on the right hand side, I'm not struggling what to, what to call it, an, an extra color palette has appeared on the side. Now, if I wanted to change the red, because I'm still on the red, you can see the gray background, I will pick another color, green, for example, and then the change all appears at the bottom. I can click that and it changes all of the element colors. If I want to change the red as well, I just click on my red, click on my text color, see all, 
and then I will click on the green and my change all appears here. Now I do understand that there is the extra click in there because usually when you clicked on the text color, your color palette would appear on the right hand, on the left hand side, sorry, and the change all would be there. But now you do have to click see all your color and then your change all will appear at the bottom. Okay. So no, we don't want to add you. So everything else is here. It's just maybe an extra click or it's been moved somewhere slightly. So things like your fonts, again, it's the same thing. Your most popular fonts will appear. The branding fonts will appear. Click see all and all your fonts appear on the right hand side. So it seems the main change is some of your options are now on the right hand side rather than appearing on the left hand side. But this means you have the option to have your branding kit, your uploads, your elements. You can have this open. You can look at this menu while also having a menu on the right hand side. So you have got both options there. It's it's not all in one side anymore. Um, you've got even got the option for magic right here. So when you're on a text box, you've got magic right. So you can continue writing, you can short it, rewrite it, you can change it as well, which I think is brilliant because it does help with being able to write stuff. Sometimes it's difficult to know what we want to word and how to write it. And now you can do it from here with magic right in the in the bar. But everything else is here, your font size, your your bold, your, your, your actual fonts, your colors, underline, you know, your alignment and animation. If you want something extra that's not on here, like um, all caps, that's one thing that's not on this bar. If I click this, we then have the different text effects. So we don't have to click effects and then go into the text effects anymore. They are there on the right hand side. And you also have your basics as well. So I've got here my all caps. Um, I've got strike through as well. I've got my underline. Everything is now here on this side. I've even got a little magic right section. My animate is here if I want to animate it. Um, and also positioning. So if I want to move it backwards and forwards, it's all here on this right hand side. It's just done to give you a little bit extra on your design, but without cluttering the actual main page, because we want to be able to see what we're creating. So everything is still here. Now, I'm going to stop here because I think there's a lot here for you to have a look at and to work through and to just have a play in Canva with the new design, with the new layout. If there's anything that you do use on a regular basis and you can't find, please drop it in the comments and I will help you find it because everything is here and more. They have just recreated the dashboard to be able to give you more, but without making it really cluttered. So yes, some things have moved, but they are still there. So there we go. I know it may be frustrating that everything has moved, but like I said, it is still there. You just need to try and find it. And it is a change. And as human beings, we don't necessarily like change, but I think this is going to be really, really good because there's so much more here you can now do directly on the dashboard with your design. And like I say, less clutter. So there we go. I hope that has really helped you with understanding a little bit more about how the new dashboard works in Canva. And like I said, if there's anything that you cannot find that you use on a regular basis, you would like to know where it is, drop it in the comments and I will be more than happy to help you find it. There we go. That's me. I'm Laura, Canva creator and Canvasador, please make sure you follow my YouTube channel because I will be doing lots of videos and tutorials on the new look dashboard and all of the new features that have been incorporated into it.